welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am doing a video on something that is a little bit overdue and I honestly was going to do this review just based off of my own experiences without having been asked and then right before I decided to film it I actually was contacted by a company to do a review over a product for them. So I would never offer you guys something that I didn't try out for myself beforehand. So I decided to go ahead and give it a shot. It was this thin tea and it just came with two 28 day detoxes. One of them, this one is for the morning and then this one's for night. And then it also came with this cute little seeper thing. So I started using this tea and I literally have been sick the whole entire time. I started doing my research about what goes on when you're taking these teas. I found out quite a few things that actually concerned me about it because I don't know, I just am like, I'm very avid on proper nutrition and good health and doing things the right way and not taking the easy route out. And when it all comes down to it, these detox teas really seem like the world's biggest scam to me and that's so sad to say because I know that they're advertised on Instagram so often and it makes people have hope that things are going to change in their body and things are going to happen and it's not always going to work out that way for everybody. So I am going to show you my before picture and my after picture so you guys can see what effect this did have on me. Like I said, I didn't wasn't able to take the tea exactly how it was supposed to be taken because when I would take the nighttime tea for some reason, I would literally take it and just be awake all freaking night. I'm gonna go over kind of what the teas were supposed to do, what's in them, and research that I found. First of all, the first thing I saw when I pulled up their website, because I never once looked to see like how much this tea actually was, it says that it's on sale right now for $59.90. And that's for the two 28 days worth, like the morning and night 28 day cleanse. And it used to be $69.90. So they are giving somewhat of a discount. This tea is shipped from Australia. So the thing that hooked me on thinking that this tea was going to be something great was because it said it's 100% natural, it was preservative free, and it contains certified organic ingredients. It does say free shipping, girl, worldwide. And you have a 14 day money back guarantee. So I thought that that was kind of like a hook for me. It made me really want to try this tea over the other ones because it said on there that it was laxative free and that everything was organic. Well, then I started thinking about it just after everything wasn't working out for me and I've been sick for so long and I was like what factor has changed in my lifestyle and it was the tea. I'm not blaming the tea for me being sick but I think it's awfully funny how it claims to aid in your health being good overall if that makes any sense at all. And I was sick the whole freaking time. Then I started looking into what it actually says. There, it's a three-step system. It said it helps eliminate toxins from your body it speeds up your metabolism so that you can burn calories faster while keeping your hunger at bay. It's gluten, dairy, and caffeine free, preservatives, and additives free. So if you really think about it and you think about tea, just regular tea that you would drink, it's always made out of leaves. It's always made out of something organic unless you look at the back and like it's not organic like i've never heard of tea that wasn't already organic because it's tea and tea is leaves am i wrong i don't know but every tea that i drink is obviously organic so i don't really trip on the whole organic situation i do however think about whether or not products are going to be good for me, AKA I would never take laxatives to lose weight or to make myself look skinnier. It may be organic, but it's an organic laxative and laxatives as a diet are bad for you. So I looked into what some of the ingredients in this tea were. It says that the detox blend ingredients are organic fennel seed, organic nettle leaf, marshmallow leaf, organic juniper berry, organic dandelion root, and organic rose petal. It also says the fat burning ingredients are organic peppermint, olive leaf, dandelion leaf, hawthorn leaf, and flour, 
coleus root, organic cinnamon, and ginger root. It still leads me to be like, okay, what's really going on with these teas that's making everybody just rave and rant about them? Like, why aren't people just going to the store and buying freaking regular ass tea? So I looked up what some of these ingredients actually do to your body. The fennel seed is actually something that they use in laxatives to cover up the taste and the flavor. Nettle leaf is like a pain reliever for you. Like I've had this issue before where I thought that I needed to take a laxative to just help me get shit flowing. <laughs> and I took one and it literally made my stomach hurt which is the only reason why I could see them needing to have like a pain reliever in these so that you're not feeling the effects of what's happening to your body. Juniper berry is an appetite suppressant and dandelion root is a diuretic. People get hooked on detox cycles, on always thinking that they need to be detoxing their body and thinking that a detox is necessary at least like once a month. And if you think about if you were gonna spend $59 a month on some tea that you could go to the store and just buy regular tea for like a dollar something for 59 family size packets of tea, is it really worth it? I mean, when I do the math, it ain't worth it. I can go to the dollar store and buy some damn laxative for a dollar. So it really comes down to how you want to treat your body and what you want to do. I can say that I did see results from doing this, but I could never incorporate this into the lifestyle that I live. I like that my body was built by me. I like that it was a challenge. I like that I am disciplined enough to eat the way that I eat. And I don't need something that's going to cause me to shit my pants to get skinny. So pretty much in my eyes, I see detox teas as being a fad for the moment. And something that has been done for centuries that... They are bringing back and convincing people, hey, pay $60 for this and you'll be skinny and fit and have abs and look great and do all of this stuff. And a lot of the people who are posting these pictures of them using these teas are people who are already popular on social media. They're getting the tea for free and then giving you guys a coupon code that you're using to buy the product and a portion of that money is going to them. One, they're probably not even using the tea, or if they are, they're not using it the right way. I mean, I told you I lasted 17 days, and I was only drinking the first one. I couldn't even drink the other two. Like, I couldn't make myself do it. So, nine times out of ten, you're probably being lied to about half the shit you see on social media. So... I just wanted to bring it to people's attention because I wasn't about to sit here and be like, I took this tea and lost so much weight. But I did not lose a single pound on this and I also worked out and was eating a lot healthier than I had been. That's pretty much all I got to say about this tea because it's not good for your body. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I just did. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. And until my next video, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye guys.